Hello, and welcome to our very first YouTube tutorial on how you can run PHP projects using XAMPP. First things first, you need to have XAMPP as well as PHP projects ready or downloaded in your PC. We'll use an example here by downloading a PHP project from our website, Code Astro. And just a quick reminder that this will be a basic tutorial for all the beginners. We will demonstrate how to easily run this point of sale system project or any other PHP project. Getting things ready before all the procedures. We now have a full PHP project on our PC, and all we have to do is show you how we can run it easily. Here you can see a zip project folder and, when you are ready, head over to your XAMPP installation folder. And inside the htdocs, extract the root project folder inside htdocs. We are showing this step just to make sure that you have your main project folder set under the XAMPP's htdocs folder. Extracting from a zip project folder might take a few seconds depending on the file size. And after that, open your XAMPP control panel and start the Apache and MySQL servers. If you don't have XAMPP installed, you can easily download it. Just do a Google search for Download XAMPP, and you will get these results. You can either download from Apache Friends or SourceForge. For now, let me show you this one. Here, you can download XAMPP for Windows, Linux, and even Mac OS. Simply click on these download buttons to start your download. Also, you can check out these versions of PHP, which are shown right here. These are the latest versions of PHP. And if you don't want the latest, or let's say you want to downgrade your PHP version, you can click on this, More Downloads, link that will redirect you to the SourceForge site. For now, we will check for the Windows OS. On this website, SourceForge, you can find a number of different versions of PHP, ranging from the latest to the oldest. As you can see, all of these are the released versions, and from here you can select any to download for your XAMPP server. Allow me to click on this 5.6. And there you have it. You have a number of different options for downloading XAMPP. Now back to the database connection part. In order to set up a database connection, go to the URL, localhost slash phpmyadmin. From this administration tool, click on the Databases tab. You can also check the name of the database that is required in order to run the PHP project. In our case, we set everything inside this text file. You can also check the name of the database in the connection file of the project. The database name should match, or else the project won't run. Now create a database. After successfully creating a database, click on the Import tab in order to import the given database file or SQL file. You can browse your own database file, but we mostly use this method by dragging the files. Importing into the database will take a while. The database file has now been imported. And that's it. Now you know how to set up a database connection by importing a MySQL database. Also, we do prefer using Google Chrome for these projects. To run the PHP project, go to URL, localhost slash, the name of the main project folder. Yours folder name will be different, but the method is similar. You just need to get the exact name of the project folder. And voila, it's on now. But in your case, you might have a different database configurations than the default one. You might have a different username and password to access your PHP MyAdmin. For this, you need to locate the connection file of the project and change the details according to your own server details. Okay, now back to the main tutorial. This portion is just to log into the system using the given login credentials, as we have our own project ready. As you can see, the PHP project is running successfully. Let me show you a quick demonstration of the project as well. Everything's working fine as expected. The data is showing up from the database as well. With this simple tutorial, I hope you have learned how to run a PHP project using XAMPP. Keep in mind that there are other factors that might also affect running a PHP project, 
such as variations in PHP versions or database configuration problems. If you have found this tutorial relevant, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And also, do check out our website, codeastro.com for all the PHP projects.